Okay, welcome back guys to another part of Gothic 2, the classic mod. Part 10, not 9. So let's get started. We are almost done with this island in chapter 1, at least the chapter 1 portion of it. And I'm probably not going to try Inubis' tomb yet, nor Dexter's bandit camp. Because I do not think we are ready for either just yet. So I'm going to check the map real quick. I think we're going to actually head to the monastery next after going through my quest log. We still haven't found Dragomir's crossbow. We've kicked Boko's butt and we still have a quest for that. So we got to talk to Pepe, the uh, sheep herder. If you remember Pepe, um, some wolves were killing his sheep and we took, care we took care of that for him. So let's go back to him, I think, next. We can't do anything with Bengar's farm and Balthazar getting a sheep onto his uh, field there. And the rest here will finish. Finish. Uh, later. Also, bandit raids. Um, is there a cave with bandits in it for bandit raids? I for completely, for completely forgot. Bandits outside the city. Involved in the fruitless search for the bandits. I'm sure we'll come across them eventually. So. Alright. Let's go back to. Onar's farm real quick. Bunko got what was coming to him. I've taught him a lesson. The swine deserved it. And that's it. Shortest turn in of a quest ever, probably. We completed that. We still gotta find Dragomir's crossbow, as I said earlier. I change of mind. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back to those bandits. Check the map real quick. Yeah, this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. He was falling down drunk. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Dexter. 15 and 16. There are 16 bandits here. From what I've seen. So let's see if we can fight them. We're going to talk to Dexter first. I believe he goes straight into combat. When we do. And also there's a little hole right there. A little texture wise. Not make it fun or criticizing. I'm just, I'm just pointing that out. Not going to make it fun of Piranha Bites. I know they're Probably going to get uh, gone soon, unfortunately. But either way, let's talk to Dexter. I warned you, if I don't kill you, he'll kill me. So you leave me no choice. All right, well, how about you then? It was easy. We have time to loot. He's got a rough short sword. He's got food, beer, and stuff. A key belonging to Dexter. Okay. Hopefully I don't have bows and arrows. Back a little bit. That was easy too. We may be able to do this. That music transition, doing it over and over again. Alright. Give me that branch. Give me all that. Yeah, even the hammer. Take everything. We're gonna loot everything from these... ...bandits, so... We're gonna get even more money. We'll take the silver chalice. That's worth some money. Any more dudes? Let's go over here. Piss off against these guys. Oh, are they not gonna attack? Hello? That's nothing new. Leave while you still can. <laughs> That'll never change. Huh, okay. Oh, there's some guys up there. Look at that. Better to watch out. I say look at that, but you have eyes. Three of them up there. How'd they get up there? I guess they climbed when we were fighting Dexter and these bandits here. Let's see if we can jump up there.
Good old janky goodness here. I love it. Oh, now he's jumping down. Where'd the other guy go? He jumped down too. And they're going to Dexter's house. Oh, you missed. They just got heavy branches, so they can't do much damage to us. We're taking a little bit, though. Yeah, we leveled up. Nice. Perfect. Take all that. Take that. Take all that. We'll jump. Nothing there. There's nothing there. Nothing to be had there. We looted that. Take all this. Nothing to be had there. And that is it. We're taking care of Dexter. We'll save here. And we'll open this chest. What's in it? Well, I thought the key would open it, but I guess we have to unlock it through lockpicks. Broke. Left, right, right. Nope. It's left. Left, right, left. Broke. There we go. Mandible, uh, saw, iron hammer, and raw steel. Then eh, we'll take it. Why not? We can't craft weapons yet. But we may, because we can learn it from Bennett at the at the landowner's farm, the mercenaries. And I'm just looking to see how many lockpicks I have. Can't see my eyes. I'm blind. It's, we have three. We'll close this and we'll save. So we did manage to kill the bandits. Well, most of them. The other ones don't seem to want to attack us. We'll probably attack them, though. Because they're bandits, they need to be wiped off the face of Karinas. Is there anything up here? The answer is no. But Dexter's key, what does that open? Maybe it opens that chest on the way to Onar's farm near those goblins. I know that's not very specific. It's near Ackles' farm. Between Ackles' farm and Lano's farm, there was an area with goblins. And, oh, swamp weed, we'll take that. And there was a little offshoot cave path thing with a, with a chest in it that cannot be lockpicked. Let's go over here first. It's also getting to be evening time, six in the afternoon. E evening, rather. It is evening. It's almost nighttime. Let's just take these guys out. How about you? Uh, it's hard to transition to another guy. Like that. There we go. He's got stuck on the table there. Convenient for us. Take all his stuff. We also got a lot of meat. Too. And I think he dropped. Didn't he drop a weapon somewhere? Skull splitter. We'll grab that. And this potion. Okay, so it's not better than our mace. Which is too bad, because it looks kind of cool. Well, not really. The mace looks better. It looks more dangerous. Grab these. Nothing there. It's too bad they don't have potions or anything. Though I guess bandits Nothing wouldn't have potions. We have one, that bandit there, in the middle. Let's go around here. We're missing anything. Where does this go? Oh, there's a little path. Well, it's not path. We jump down there, we die. We're not going to do that. Nothing there. Let's go back here. Maybe this chest here opens. With Dexter's key. Ah, it does. Perfect. Okay, we got Essence of Healing, a Silver Chalice, and 30 gold coins. We'll take all those. I won't say no to more money. And we'll go up here. Maybe there's a bandit watching. Keeping watch or something. 
Yeah, we're gonna wipe out this camp. We just got a few more bandits to go. Alright, there's nothing up here. Let's go back down. And we'll wipe these guys out. Nobody ever asked. Oh, Just you. That's two down so far. Three. Four. And five. We'll just go. Ah, he's really hitting us pretty good. There we go. Now, what do you have? You got any bo uh, potions? Nope. Just a bit of money. Food and money, that's all they have. You got a potion there. That's good. We can always use potions. And I'm surprised we didn't have to use potions here fighting these guys. There we go. And one more to go. How about you? You looked really surprised there. Alright. Bandit cl uh, camp. Almost said clamp. Bandit camp cleared. What's in here? Got a bed. Got a chest. Let's open it. Alright, here we go. I'm really glad sometimes it doesn't break like that. Alright. Last one's right. If it is the last one. Nope, that's not the last one. There we go. That's the last one. Left. Mandible. Take these. And, okay. The raw steel we can use to craft weapons. And we may learn that. Uh, eventually. We're going to learn just two-handed first. I want to get that up to master. Level 14. I had to double check there. We're going to sleep here in a minute. We're going to explore this uh, mine first. I remember there being a mine crawler in these mines. So let's check. See if we can take him out. How about you? Ah, careful. Okay, that's one down. Nothing to plunder. We got veins or veins here. Nothing here. Yeah, crafting weapons. I believe it's important for later. We'll see. Magical ones, at least. But we gotta get started with just basic, basic crafting. But we are slowly getting there with our stats, skills. We're getting our strength back from our sojourn in the first game. After being collapsed by borders, uh, borders, boulders in the Sleeper's Temple. These minecrawlers aren't too bad. I remember them being much tougher in the first game. This game is not difficult. It's difficult in the beginning. Later on, even now. Also, we're fighting a bit too much here. Ah, we're stuck. Crap, we're gonna die. Back. If I can take out one. There we go. There we go. I was close. If I didn't get hit by that Minecrawler warrior earlier, we'd be okay. We can always go back and sleep and come back. Just trying to see if there's anything cool in here. We got a lump of ore. That's good. Another lump of ore. We have four total now. And of course, those will be used to craft magical weapons. It's so interesting. You know, in the first game, you're basically swimming in ore. As you're playing the game, we had 20,000. And you can get much more than that. 
I read of one case where someone got over like 50,000 ore. Um, all that ore, and yet in this game, it's kind of, not kind of, it's scarce. What we had in abundance is now, now not that many. Let's bring out our torch. That way we can see all about these. That way we can see everywhere and grab all these uh, magical ores because I'm going to make sure I'm not missing anything. I also saw an ore vein right here. I don't know if I can do anything with that. Let's see. Oh, we're mining... I wonder if this works. I don't think it works. I think this is just for looks, just like in the first game. We'll see. Let's do this for a little bit. If it doesn't do anything, we're just going to leave. Of course. Now, in Night of the Raven, a bit of a spoiler, I think, you can mine gold ore veins in the expansion area, or somewhere. I remember that. Don't think it's in the classic game. Only the Night of the Raven. I may play that in the future, I just don't want to right now. I just really like the classic game better. I know I repeated myself, but there you go. Also, this doesn't do anything. And he didn't even bring his lockpick, uh, not lockpick, his pickaxe out. Now let's make sure we got all magical ore. Not that many in this shaft. Any in here? Did I miss any in here? No, there's just two in here. Alright. Hmm. Yep, that's it. That is it. Alright, mine cleared. Let's go to sleep. We'll just drop this torch here. Because we can't just put it away, I don't believe. It's not even in our inventory, it's just in our hand. Alright, night to night. Sleep till next morning. Now we got a place to rest. If we want to. We've got a nice big camp all to ourselves. You almost don't need that uh, in room back of the dead harp. You can just come here, I think. I don't know if this place gets populated. Uh, later on. I don't think so. So, I wonder if this is a quest for... Bandit Raids? We'll see when we go back to Karina's, but for now I'm gonna save. And now we're gonna go ahead to... Somewhere. I don't know where we're gonna go. I guess we'll go learn... Two-handed from... Cords. So let's go back to Onar's farm. Hey! Teach me how to fight. I can teach you to use any weapon. Where shall we start? We're going to start with two-handed, all of it. All 20 points. There we go. You've become better already. Keep it up. I will. All right, so... Yeah, we got 50% in two-handed, or rather, we're a fighter in two-handed still. One more level to go, we can get to a master. I think 60% is master at least, unless I'm misremembering. Let's go ahead and save. And now, I guess we'll try the tomb again, so let's go over there real quick. Probably no need to cut ahead, I'll just talk along the way. We've pretty much done everything here at the farm. You listen to the wrong people. We got everyone's approval to join the mercenaries, we've done the task for Torloff. We've gotten the weed back for uh, what's his name? Cypher? I guess it's Cypher. He beat he beat him up for it. I don't think we can do this tomb, but I'm just going to see about uh, doing it anyway. There's a lot of skeletons. We may need to actually get some magical scrolls. I think there's some scrolls we can buy to clear this. If we want to clear this early, at least. This place is so creepy. Not so creepy. It's a little creepy. It's got the, the music really hand, um, goes along with it pretty well. Uh, let's go ahead and save. 
I think a backup too. Just in case. Okay, how about you? Ah, got hit. That's not. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. We got hit pretty bad. Close that. I'm not gonna grab those yet. So we're gonna go back here. We got not lucky with that. Yeah, that's too many, too many skeletons. Yeesh. What was I thinking? Of course, we can't take him out yet. We we're just not strong enough. So let's once again run away with our tail between our legs. I think next there is a cave on our, on the way back to the dead harpy. So we're gonna go there. There's some black goblins we haven't taken care of yet. This cave right here, you can see the little cabin over there where the landowner's farm starts and the waterfall here. So let's go in. Because we left this place for later because these black goblins, uh, we were weaker then, but we're strong now. So strong we can just rush right in and do this. I'm getting kind of sloppy with it. I may have overextended myself. This is a lot of goblins. Run away. There's still a lot. There's more than I thought. I thought it was like four. We died. Well, that was embarrassing. Well, let's try that again. We'll be careful this time. Excuse me, it looked like there was just four in there, and they just came out of nowhere. Alright, let's be careful here. Should just be able to lure these, like three of them. Nope, all four of them. Alright, how about you? Oops. Oh no, not good. Whoa, what was that? What is this, the Matrix? I thought I was playing Gothic too. Well, we killed all of them and it took a lot of damage. Loot that. Ah, 20 coins so far. Heavy branch. 5 coins. 25. D meat. Nothing there. Heavy branch. Nothing there. Nothing there. Hopefully Nothing that's all there. the enemies. That was a lot of goblins. Goblin berries. That's good. We can make stat Nothing potions there. with those. This here... Let's go ahead and save, because I'm not going to do that again. That's probably the most goblins we fought at one time. That was a bunch, a whole army. Now, do they have anything cool? There's nothing in here. A scroll. Don't tell me I fought all of them for no treasure. That's no good. What did I pick up? Large Firestorm. We... Can't cast that? No, we don't have enough mana points. We're short 15. Apparently. This is mana per second 8. I can't cast it just one time? Just one time? Oh well. I guess we'll just sell that, because we're not going to learn magical skills. I think magic will help with, with in Abyss's tomb, though. So maybe we can go back to that fire magician outside of the monastery. I'm just going to check over here again real quick. At least we got a lot of experience, but I would have liked treasure, too. Yeah, I guess that was it. If I'm forgetting something, I'm sure someone will bring it up in the comments. 
I feel like I keep my eyes peeled for stuff, but whatever. Let's just leave. And we'll go ahead and save. And I'm going to go back to Sagita and heal up real quick. And then we can continue our adventure. I don't think... Uh, I'm actually not sure where else to go now. I guess we can just go back to... I was going to say go back to Karina's, but I'm going to go back to that magician outside the monastery. See if we can buy something to help us out with that tomb. Show me your wares. All right, so we got... Um, he's got nothing, so... Yeah, let's actually just go back to Karina's then. Never mind. May Inos watch over you always. All right, let's sell our stuff. Show me your wares. Okay, he can have heavy work axe, skull splitter, the rough short swords, the branches, apples, bread, cheese. We got some gold for all that cheese. Fish. Oh, uh, you have the stew. Why not? Keep all the herbs. Sell the D meat. Keep that ring. Gonna put that in the chest back to the dead harpy. I like to keep those. We can sell them later if we want to. Sell the bones. I guess we can sell these caskets. So... Uh, hold on to it for a little while. We got a lot of money right now. Actually, we're not done yet. We're not done. Let's sell these hammers. Sell these saws and the mandibles. And I think that is it for now. We got 10,584 pieces of gold. That's that's a fair bit of gold. I didn't think I'd get that much this early. I thought it'd be much later. Let's sell our, sell our skins to Bosper. Then after that, I might try to see about doing militia quests just to get some experience. I've got a few skins for you. Wolf skin, that's good. A warg skin? Those beasts are tough. They are indeed. Good work. Come see me again when you have more. Bosper is very rich to be able to buy all this, though he's probably reselling them. Not probably. He is reselling them at a higher price. How he stays in business. Let's go ahead and save. And uh, we'll make a, another backup save right here. We'll save in that slot, rather. I'm going to do this. Because so I think you can do quests leading up to joining the militias and get some experience, but we're going to join the mercenaries. I just want to see about uh, getting some extra experience points. We'll talk to Pablo, though. Wait a minute. He doesn't see that. I can't help it. What do you know about the bandits? They've all come from that blasted mining colony. But there are several splinter groups. Some are holed up in the mountains, and others have joined up with Ona, the landowner. But it's the bandits outside of town who cause the most problems. They're the reason that none of the merchants venture beyond the city gates now. Nobody will learn anything from me. What do you know about the bandits who robbed Hacken, the merchant? Oh, that matter. Don't remind me. As far as we know, they're responsible for a lot of the attacks on merchants. Those rats have crawled into their holes and don't dare come out again. Once, we were able to track them down and follow them. But we broke off pursuit in the woods outside the city. There's too many beasts roaming around there. It's much too dangerous. But there's one more thing. A few of the stolen goods have shown up in Corinus. This means that they know how they can smuggle the wares into town and sell them. Yeah, we suspect they have a fence in the city. But we haven't been able to catch the guy yet. If you find out anything about the business, remember Lord Andre has posted a bounty for the fence. Well... We, uh, that's, that's the, he's likely talking about Halvor. We already did that thing with him. Where did the bandits who had my wanted poster come from? We picked them up near the landowner's place, but they didn't look like Onar's people. I think they're part of a smaller group which is holed up in the mountains near Onar's farm. But if you intend to go there, let me warn you. Those cutthroats make short work of everyone. I'll remember that. How's the situation? At the moment, it's quiet. Only the bandits outside the city are causing us problems. All right, one button. So, 
Bandit raids? Here you go. The bandits are probably in cahoots with some dealer in the city. Lord Andre has got a reward out for the dealer. We probably can't do that. Because we already... Did our thing with... I guess he's talking about Halvor, right? I don't know of anyone else... That, uh... He's talking about. I can't see it. Four wolves, rod swords, hungry hunter, good fighter... Well, let's go talk to Andre then. Just right over here. We gotta go there anyway to see about joining the, uh, doing quests for the militia. Leading up to joining. Like I said, I just want to see if I can get some extra experience points. It's always a good thing. Could probably reach level 15. And I think you could reach higher in chapter 1. I can't, uh, again, I can't remember. Been a long time since I played this. And here we are, Wolfgar. Now his armor's cool. Oh, kind of. Or right, leave him alone. Let's talk to Andre real quick. All right, here we go. Watch him again. I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Nope. Nothing here. All right, let's talk to Wolfgar. Or let's talk to Andre first about the Paladins, see what he says, since I'm doing this anyway. I want to take up service with the Paladins. Good. I can well use every able man here, no matter what his reasons for joining us. If you place yourself in the service of the Paladins, I shall help you get an audience with Lord Hagen. However, I have my orders only to accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable, but orders are orders. Bunch of stuff here. We're already a citizen, but we'll go ahead and choose this. Is there a faster way to join you? Hmm. You're really serious about this, aren't you? Good. Listen, I have a problem. If you solve it for me, I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia. But the most important thing is... You must not breathe a word of it to anyone. What's your problem? Recently, there have been a number of thefts in the city. Thus far, we have not been able to capture anyone. The thieves are simply too skillful. The scum know their business. I'm sure that we're dealing with an organized gang. It would not amaze me if there were a thieves' guild in Corinus. Find the leaders of the gang and hunt them down. Then I shall see to it that you are accepted into the militia, regardless of whether or not you are a citizen. But you must say nothing about our agreement. All right. Where should I start looking for the thieves? If I knew that, I'd go there myself. I can only tell you this much. We recently turned the entire harbor district upside down and found nothing. Absolutely nothing. The people there are not very talkative, particularly if you wear the armor of a paladin. But you are an outsider. They will not distrust you so quickly. You could ask around the harbor first, but be careful. If the people there realize that you are working for the Paladins, you will learn nothing. All right, so we found actually two of the thieves. One of them is Renguru and Nah. They said they'll pass on a good word to us when we did stuff for them. Renguru, we let him go. What should I do once I've found one of the thieves? If it's a matter of a lackey, a henchman, or some small fry, it would be best if you avoid a fight. You should rather come to me and report. I shall then see to it that the fellow winds up behind bars. The city guard could intervene in an open battle, and you would not have the opportunity of explaining to them what is going on. Furthermore, there is a bounty for every rotten apple you put behind bars. However, if you locate the leader's hideout, well... Well, then you probably won't be able to avoid a fight. What should I expect with the militia? Let me make one thing clear. To be a soldier of the militia means much more than strolling through the city in a uniform. It is a dirty and even bloody job. Once you are one of us, a great deal of work will be waiting for you. But it is worth it. Besides the pay, you might someday have the chance of becoming a holy warrior of Innos. About the Thieves' Guild... Yes. I'm working on it. Good. Keep me informed. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. All right, we got some quests. Well, we got a quest. Member of the city guard. Right here. 
We gotta find the Thieves Guild. And I guess we can find them pretty early. I don't know. I didn't think so. Let's talk to... Wolfgar. Real quick. Hey. I want to join the militia. So? Are you a citizen of the town? Yes. Then talk to Lord Andre. He decides who gets accepted here. We did talk to him, but there's no option to join. Probably because I chose all that dialogue regarding the Thieves Guild. Alright. I'm going to save more time. I'm ready to join the militia. Then you are a citizen of Corinus? Bosper the Bowmaker has taken me on as his apprentice. Then you also know something about living in the wild. That is good, because the militia has assignments not just within the city walls. We can certainly use people who know their way around in the wilderness. And the Bowmaker is an important man in the city. If he vouches for you, there's nothing standing in the way of your acceptance into the militia. You can join us if you wish, but your decision will be final. Once you wear the armor of the militia, you cannot simply take it off and no longer belong to us. Are you prepared to fight together with us for Inos and the King? I'm ready. Then so shall it be. Welcome to the militia. Here is your armor. Wear it with pride and dignity. And that's how it works. There's no other tasks to do. Just become a citizen. You're Now you're a member of the militia. Now we wear this kind of not aesthetic militia armor. The one Wolfgar is wearing is a little better. Or rather, a lot better. So Lord Andre accepted you. I expect you to come here and train regularly. Ruga will train you in the art of the crossbow, and Mortis will help you to increase your strength. But the most important thing is for you to learn to handle your sword properly. I'll make a good fighter of you yet. And that's it. It says militia right there. We're going to reload, though, because we're not joining the militia. I'm glad I did this because now I know how to get the quest or get some sort of lead on the Thieves Guild. So now let's go back to the harbor. All right, here we are. Well, in the tavern. Let's see if Cardiff has to say anything hey, you, to say. Come over here. I've got something for you. There's a fellow here who insisted on talking to you. Since you weren't here, he told me to give you a message. He wants to meet you behind Halver's fish shop. This piece of information is free, but that's an exception, kid. Anything beyond that will cost you. What did the guy look like? I could tell you that, but you need to pay for it, my friend. Oh, a crook. I need information. What did the guy look like? Well, rather tall, dark-skinned and strong, but no uniform somehow menacing. And his face? His face? When he looked at me, I was glad that it wasn't me he had come for. There was something scary in his eyes. Anyway, I think you should go see him. This is bound to be interesting. Yeah, the question is, for whom? I remember this. Let's go meet that guy. Just right over here. And I suppose that, um... That thing Pablo talked about is Halvor. So I guess this quest we got here. Keep pressing the wrong button. Bandit raids. I gotta check that online. I keep forgetting to check stuff online before it's time to do a recording for this game. That'll probably stay in the quest log forever. Behind Halvor's fish shop. And also, do you have any more fish for us, Halvor? Show me your fish. No, he does not. All right, he's probably over here. This is his shop. And there he is. Hey, you! Ah, finally. I've been waiting for you, stranger. Who are you? And what do you want from me? That isn't important. What is important is what you've done. You have remained loyal, even if you weren't aware of it. Some benefactors have become aware of your loyalty, and they are offering you a chance, so use it. Hey, just tell me why you're here. I have a gift for you. Everything else is up to you, stranger. <laughs> Rusty key received. Right here. This key has been damaged by salty seawater. That's a clue. So obviously, you probably know where we're going to go. 
is gonna hang out here by Edda. Wait a minute. Talk to him again. Who are you? I'm called Attila. But is my name important? Our names are meaningless. You should know that best, stranger. <laughs> Alright. So next, we gotta go to where Jack was. No need to skip ahead, it's just right over here. And there's one other person, or one other thing we have to do in Karina's. There's a quest involving... Uh, it's a spoiler, I want to say. Forgot how to get it. I think maybe we may find it in the Thieves' Guild. So we'll see. Does Lars have anything new to say, though? He just stands here facing hey, the sea. Do you know anything about a Thieves' Guild in town? The questions you ask. Of course, there's a Thieves' Guild here. Just like in every big city, and every petty pickpocket or fence is probably connected to it somehow. Why haven't I heard about this? Do you know where I can find the Thieves' Guild? <laughs> no offense, but even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you anything. These people usually react very sensitively to things like that. If you want to get involved with them, you should be very careful. It's totally I've got this key here. It's been corroded by sea salt. So? I think it will lead me to the hideout of the Thieves' Guild. Well, it could be the key to the sewers. It's not what I heard. Where can I find the sewers? What do I know? They usually empty into the ocean. And that's it. That's that. funny. Do research into finding the Thieves' Guild by Lord Andre, and basically just walks up to... Well, he knows Lara, so I guess that's not silly. He's basically asking him, do you know anything about the Thieves' Guild? Do you know where I can find the Thieves' Guild? That's some good investigative research. I don't know, I just think I find it funny. But regardless of that, let's go over here. You may remember in the last few parts, there's a door below the harbor here. Right over here, as you can see. And I wonder where this leads. We finally have the key. Let's go ahead and open this. Close that. Now we are in the sewers. Has a rusty axe. This poor guy got killed in the back. Got sliced in the back. It's rather dark here too. Also, there's rats here. Got you. And there's another rat there. It's a bit dark in here, I know. meat. Anything else here? Rusty sword, a potion. Grab that. Whoa! Darn rats. It's very dark in here. Shh. Holy moly. Grab that. Get their meat. Let's bring out our torch. What is going on with the music? There's a potion here. There we go. The transitions like that, depending on where you're standing, it does that. Oh, there's a potion here. We'll grab that. Okay, they're all just healing potions and mana potions. We're finally having a decent stock. We got 24 potions total of varying strength. There's a chest there. We're gonna have to unlock it, I think. There we go. Right. Ah, got it on one try. Right, right, left, left, right. Okay, we got a hunting bow and Corgon Silver. I completely forgot who Corgon even is. We're definitely gonna hold on to that. Explore more of this place. There's a potion here. That's just a regular weak healing potion. Yeah, it's nothing in there. Hopefully there's no... Oh, this guy got hung. I didn't even notice that. Skeleton. The rats must have eaten the... Eaten them. Also... Yeesh, is this a sewers or a catacomb? There's a lot of skeletons here. Anything here? Just barrels and crates. 
don't quite know the layout to these sewers. I completely forgot. Can't go in here. That's not a door. That's boarded up. Okay, that leads to the Thieves' Guild. You can see that guy over there. But we're not going to go there yet. We're going to explore a little bit more. Because you know me, I like searching for treasure and such. I know I saw that door there. I'm going to get it later. Just going to go over here first. And there's nothing here. Let's go in this door. We'll save first. And... I need the key for that. Ah, uh, we need a key. We'll come back to there later. Let's go back a little bit. Because I think I missed a path. Over here. I think this place just leads back to where we came from. I'm just making sure. I like to explore. Alright. This over here leads back out. And okay, let's go back to the where the guy was. I think we're ready to talk um, to him. I'll just go ahead and drop this torch. But I'll keep it with me. Hello. Hey, what are you doing down here? There's nothing here for you. So, out with it. What are you doing here? Jesper, Jesper kid. I have come to kill you. <laughs> uh, if you were, um... Wanting to join the militia quickly, you can probably do that. Attila gave me a key. That's why I'm here. So what do you want of me? Wouldn't you like to know? Keep your cool. Go see Cassia. You're expected. Okay, I will. Talk to him again, though. Wait a minute. He says nothing. Let's go in here first. Anything cool in here? Lots and lots of barrels. A lot of barrels, but nothing else. Barrels and crates. Anything around this uh, crate? Nope. There's not. Also... I got a leather bag here, and I forgot to mention, I found this back at the bandit's camp, Dexter's camp, around that first cabin, the corner there. I forgot to mention that. Well, I'll mention it now, so let's go back over here. Is it this way? That's probably that way. Let's go over here first. Okay, that's uh, Cassia. There's Jesper. And... Yeah, let's put this away, actually. That'll probably just dissipate after a while. Okay, let's talk to Cassia. She's obviously the leader. Hey, you! I see you received our gift. I'm Cassia. Alright, Cassia. So tell me why I'm here. You caught our attention by winning the trust of some of our friends. And we want to offer you a chance. You can join us. Tell me about your organization. People in town are pretty nervous about us. But nobody knows our hideout. The handful of people who even know that the sewers exist believe that they are locked and not accessible to anyone. As long as they don't find us, we can work in peace. It's a good hideout then. What's in it for me if I join you? You can learn special abilities from us. Abilities that will allow you to live in luxury. But I wouldn't have to hide out down here, would I? <laughs> no. You only have to stick to our rules. That's all. What are your rules? The first rule is, you don't breathe a word about us. To anyone, ever. Second, don't get caught. Third, if you draw your weapon down here to attack someone, we'll kill you. And the fourth and last rule is, those who want to join us have to prove themselves. What happens if I get caught? Just don't get caught, okay? Okay, fair enough. How am I supposed to prove myself? Now will you join us or not? What can I learn from you? Jesper is the master of stealth. He will show you how to move without making a sound. Ramirez is an exceptionally gifted burglar. No law can withstand his picks. And I can teach you how to be a pickpocket. I'm also going to help you become more dexterous, for dexterity is the key to your abilities. I think that's only true for crossbows, but I could be wrong. Let's see what happens if we choose. We're going to join, but what happens if we choose this? And what if I don't want to join you? You're missing a one-time chance. 
but you can go. And don't even think about betraying us. You would bitterly regret that. Okay, I'm in. You've made a wise decision. If you succeed in proving yourself, you may join our ranks. If you would like to learn the thieves' abilities first, feel free. You're going to need them. Can you teach me? Sure, no problem. Just let me know when you're ready. So much this cost? Five learning points, so one more level we can learn how to pick pockets. And I think it's fun to choose in this game versus the last game. You kind of didn't need pike pocket in the last game, unless you're role playing a thief or something, like a fighter thief or something like that. How am I supposed to prove myself? That stubborn old alchemist, Constantino, has a beautiful ring, but he doesn't really need it. I want to see it adorn my hand. Okay. I want to become more dexterous. I think dexterity also prevents your lockpicks from breaking all the time. Let's talk to Jesper. Hey, you! We already know how to sneak and open logs, but I wonder, I guess they teach you for free here. So if you're enjoying the Thieves Guild, probably best to just join the Thieves Guild and do it through them. That way you don't have to spend money. Because with, uh, with Bartok, I don't think you had to spend money, but with Thorben, you had to give him some money or actually no, scratch that. You helped out with the debt. He did it for, he does it for free. There's Ramirez. So you're in. Well, I wish you success then and be careful whatever you do. Oh, and one more thing. I don't care who you are up there and with whom you work here below. You're only one of us, a thief. No more and no less. Can you teach me something? I can't teach you anything. You already know everything about picking locks. Now you only need to improve your dexterity. And that's all he says. He's got some chests here. I don't think it's wise to steal from your own from your own thieves. They don't really appreciate that. Also got a lot of Gomez paintings here. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. With Constantino, you pressing the wrong button there. With Constantino, you need to learn how to pick, uh, not pick locks, pick pockets. How about that? And what else? Do we fail anything? No. All right, now we're gonna go back up topside. Well, it's evening time. Day 18 is almost over and done with. Does Lara say anything new? If I'm Thieves Guild, he doesn't care. So Corgon is the barkeeper, now I remember, and uh, it was on the tip of my tongue too, I completely forgot. Right, Bartok, not Bartok, Bosper the Bowmaker, we found his bow, I think that's his bow in the chest we just found. It's not named, so I'm not entirely sure, but we'll go back to Bosper real quick and see about giving him back his bow. Whoa, that was weird lag there. The game is going to crash for a second. So far, the game hasn't crashed. It's a very stable experience. The first game, too. There you are again. I think this bow belongs to you. My bow? Where did you find it? In a dark hole full of rats. I hope you didn't get into trouble. No, I've done this kind of thing before. <laughs> Thank you anyway. I owe you for this. He doesn't give us anything, but we got experience, and we're still a ways from level 15. I think next we're going to learn how to pick pockets, and probably go ahead and learn how to craft swords. I was going to learn two-handed, but I also want to learn how to pick pockets and such. We can't take Constantino's ring yet, but we're going to talk to him first. Oh, it looks like he has new recipes. Okay, let's do this first, though. Oh, uh, he doesn't have any lab flasks? What kind of alchemist are you, Constantino? I guess he used all of them. I'm looking for new recipes for potions. Do you have any previous experience with alchemy? Yes, I do. Yet you are still alive. Those aren't bad qualifications. I think I can tell you a few formulations. It depends, of course, on what you want to know. What recipes can you teach me? I know a few. Make your own choice. There we go. Okay, he just teaches us the same Sigita does. 
I don't know what the requirements are for the stat potions. Maybe you gotta learn all of them. That's gonna be a deep requirement. Is this anything here? Nope, that's just just that. Let's uh go ahead and save and let's see if is he gonna turn around? Let's go over here first. I'm gonna heal with Vart Vatris. We probably don't need to. And the human slew. Can you heal me? Adonis, bless this body. Free it of its wounds and strengthen it with new life. And there we go. I know I can skip that, but I like hearing it. It fits the video too. Let's go back to Constantino. Okay, he's not looking at us anymore. Let's see if it's in his chest. Almost there. All right. Left. Take your hands right. off of that. Right. Left. I'm trying to get all the combinations before I have to reload. There it is. It's going to reload. Killed us. Yeah, if you fail a lockpick combination, they uh. attack you. They get noticed. You get noticed, or rather. So you want to do it right the first time. Oh, shoot. I messed up because I was reading the... I have combinations here written on a piece of paper. And I was reading the wrong one that I've already done for a chest earlier. That's why I failed. Okay, third time's the charm. There's no way I'm gonna mess this up. If I mess this up, I may as well just quit this game in shame and never play again. And we'll take everything, because why not? We're a thief, so let's be a thief. And we got the ring. I think we're good? Okay. I don't think Pablo Sala saw us, so let's talk to him real quick. Did you see us? Ah, uh, you saw nothing. Good. Alright, now, we're gonna go head back to Cassia and turn in that ring. I've got Constantino's ring. Congratulations. You passed your initiation test. Now you're truly one of us. Take this key. It opens the door to the hotel. Then you won't have to swim every time. Furthermore, you should know that we have a secret sign, a particular nod. Exactly. When you talk to the right people and make this sign, they'll know you're one of us. Have you got a job for me? Yes. There is a matching set of chalices. Six of them. King Rabar once captured them during a campaign, but he sacrificed many men so he could get them. That's why they're called the blood chalices. Each of the chalices by itself is not all that valuable, but the six of them all together are worth a tidy sum. Where are these chalices? They're here in town. They belong to the rich merchants in the upper quarter. Bring them to me. In the meantime, I'll try to find a buyer for them. What's in it for me? Either half the profit, or you get to pick a special item from my booty. Okay. Any more information about those things? About the blood chalices? I can only sell these chalices as a set. Bring me all six. All right, let's go back to town. We got that key. Now we don't have to swim. We learned a secret nod. So that means if we talk to certain people, they may be able to help us. And we may talk to every- I'll never get this open without the right key. Huh? Okay. Where's the door then? I must be missing it. In here? No, this is the storage room. Think. Is it in Cassia's room? 
Ah, okay, I remember. There's stairs up, uh, there's stairs here. Also, does Jesper say anything? Hey. He does not. If we don't know how to sneak yet, Jesper will teach us. There we are. Nice. Look at you. Where do you come from, huh? Uh, I... <laughs> I know. You don't have to tell me. I know everything. Just don't even think of stealing anything here, got it? We can't afford drawing attention to the hotel. There's nothing here to steal. Let's talk to her again. Okay, she doesn't say anything new. So let's save. Back up. And... I guess we'll... Try to find that chest. That uh, someone mentioned Darn had a chest here. I don't know where it is. Like around here, I think. I don't know. Hmm. In here? I'll never get this open without the right key. We need a key, as he says. There's supposed to be a chest around here, but I forget where it is. I need the key for that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Huh. No chest. All right, let's go back to Lord Andre and tell him we can't find thieves. I don't know if he says anything, if we just can't do the quest. I think it just fails it, but we'll do it anyway. Just up here. And it's nighttime. That's the perfect time to go to the upper quarter after this and see if we can find those blood chalices. Yep, the blood chalices. Apparently they're all in the city. She said upper quarter, so we gotta go there. Right, Andre, I can't find those thieves, so find someone else. Or just give up. About the thieves' guild. Yes. I'm working on it. Good. Keep me informed. All right, we're not going to turn them in, obviously, so. But you could. If you want to, if you're playing like a paladin and you want to be like a pure paladin or something like that, then you would turn in the Thieves' Guild. Um, he tells you to go kill them, though. He, he doesn't arrest them. So next, we'll go ahead into the upper quarter and begin our um, Night of Thievery. Before we do that, we'll talk to Corrigan. I've got your silver. Really? Here, take this as a reward. A very special beer. This is my last keg. Show me your wares. I didn't mean to click that. I meant to end. It looks like you can buy back his chalices if you want to. You give us beer. We got max hit points and max mana. We'll drink it. Nothing like a nice beer after before doing um, a bit of thievery. And we have 211 hit points and 11 mana. All right, let's go back to the upper quarter. Um, all right, we're here, but everyone's still awake, so... I think we need to, shoot, wait till midnight. So on second thought, let's just go back to the hotel. Uh, darn it. Go ahead and rest for a couple of hours. Midnight. Day 19. All right, let's go back. All right. Uh, perfect, I guess. Lothar is still standing there. I don't know if we can... I don't know if he sees us or even cares. So let's go ahead and save in the backup, and then main. We have to wait till the next chapter when he disappears, go somewhere else. Assuming he goes somewhere else. All right, we're in someone's house now. We got some food here. I'll leave that alone. Upstairs, tippy toe upstairs. Pretty nice little home here, huh? They live in luxury. That's a gold chalice. We'll uh, take that. Now, assuming the blood chalice is in that chest, let's go ahead and save. We already saved in the backup, I remember that. Save here again. 
It's a citizen. Got a book stand. What does it say? It says nothing. Leave that alone. All right, here we go. Gonna get started here. Be right. Next one's left, right? <laughs> left, right. Ah. Right, right, left. Right, right, left. That was easy. Lucky me. Okay, 106 blood chalices. Take that and the 100 gold. Success. Let's leave. Very slowly. Very, very slowly. I don't think we're going to make it to join the mercenaries in this part. Because this may be a while. I think by the time I steal all the blood chalices, the part will be over. But hopefully we'll find other cool stuff in the upper quarter. Hopefully Lothar doesn't say anything. I don't think he does. Okay, doesn't say anything there. Hmm, how do I... Yeah, he gets in the way. Wambo. Go ahead and see if I can try. Get out of here! Yeah, get away from here. Can I do this? Nope. Yeah, get away from here. And do this. No, he's too fast. Alright, we can't go in that house yet. We definitely can't go in here, I don't think. So what was your business in there, huh? Let's just uh, go ahead and reload. I think Lothar... He moves away in a later chapter, then we can go ahead and enter that house. However, we can go like this, I think. And this is the Paladin's barracks here. These are all knights. I see a chest over there. Now this is dangerous. There's also a statue of Innos here. I don't know if that's worth anything, but I'm going to take it. It's a little scary. Right here. Let's go and save. Let's try to unlock this chest. I'll never get this open without the right key. Never mind, we need a key. So stealing in this game is a bit better than the first game. There's almost no reason to in the first game, less for a quest. I don't think there is any quest to steal in that game. Like this, at least? I don't know. We did try to steal from chests in... Ah, uh, shoot. Um, the old camp, but kind of not worth it. There's just so many. I didn't bother opening up any of the chests in Gomez's camp, uh, the castle. Because again, it's pretty much over at that point. All right, let's open this. Broke. Just left. Whoops. A few lockpicks would be helpful. Let's reload. And hopefully they won't spot me on a reload. Whoop. Right. Left. Okay, right, left, right, right. Oh. All right, I'm going to reload again, because I don't want to waste lock picks. We only got three. Okay, that's fine. Not a long combination for that one. Okay, we got a chest key and gin. We'll take that. We'll take everything. And that's it in this room. I can't remember if I stole from this place or not way back then. Now, imagine if you became a paladin, this is your bed, right here. Because it's empty. Being around these knights makes me nervous. Imagine if you get caught, like in real life situation. Alright, we got potions. Nice, and 50 coins. We'll take all that, we need potions. 
We need a good supply of potions. I know it's a game, but them sleeping on armor is pretty funny. Almost out. Almost. There's no chalice in there, but that makes sense. We can't go in here, I don't think. Can I? What's new? They say the farmers have rebelled. We can't use crap like that now. When we're in the middle of a war with the orcs. Well, you we are. Now can I sneak past you? Ah, uh, uh, master stealth, stealth thief, sneak thief. Right, let's go up here. This is the judge's house. Now, remember that character in the opening cutscene of Gothic One who was reading out a sentence to the nameless hero? Well, this is his house. He's here. And he's involved with a quest later on that I don't want to spoil. Armchair, citizen, and judge. We're sneaking just to read a book. I'm just making sure, you know, I'm gonna get experience for those or something, but I think we read all the books. There's also nothing in here at all. I just wasted my time. Alright, let's go back out. Really, really slowly. But yeah, the judge has a quest involved in this game that I want to spoil. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool quest. I remember it. It's one of the few quests I remember in this game. Now, did I miss anything in here at all? That doesn't look like it. Alright, see if I can just... Some guard you are. You didn't even notice me go in there, did you? Well, keep up the good work. There's also a guy here. Do you say anything? Whoa. Got up really quickly, didn't he? We'll leave him alone. Anything over here? Like, anything hidden? No. The answer is no. Look, it's almost two in the morning. We got time. I think everyone wakes up at 8. 6 to 8. Nothing around here. We're not going to try to sneak into the into Lord Hagen's building. No need for that. We'll go in there eventually. Thing over here. There's a worker here. It's hard to see. I know. It's really dark. Gardener. Ah, we can show the sea signal. What are you doing here? What do you think, huh? I'm a gardener. I take care of the garden. You're pretty much by yourself here, aren't you? Yes, and it should stay that way. I'm glad that I have some peace here. Once, they wanted to send me to the penal colony because I did some guy in. But Larius, the governor, needed another gardener, and so I could stay here. Over time, this garden has become my home, and I'm content with that. No, you're lucky to not go to the penal colony now, then. Are you growing herbs as well? A few. I'm growing fireweed and fire nettles. I also tried swamp weed, but that doesn't really thrive here. Well, I just harvested. So if you want to buy something. Show me your wares. All right, he's got fire nettle and fire weed, as he says. We don't need any of those. We'll just show the thief signal. So you're one of us. Then I got some useful information for you. Some of the houses up here have secret panels that can only be opened by hidden switches. People hide their valuables behind them. Ah. I do not remember that. Let's see if we can jump up here. Ah, we can. All right, excellent. All right. We'll go ahead and save right here. And we'll see if we can... How do we enter one of these houses with these guards here? Completely forgot. We may have to come back here later. Wambo's here. I think it depends on the, the time of night. So Wambo's there. This guard's here. 
you think they'd be suspicious with us running around like this, but... I mean, we could just say, we're a citizen. I have every right to be out here at night if I want to be. Okay, Wambo's gone, so that means we can go in here. Oh, I see some... stuff here. Gold candlestick, I'll take that. And I'll take the other one. I said there's secret, like, switches and stuff, so we'll find it. I imagine maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this light source. Nope. Upstairs. Got one person sleeping. Grab that silver chalice, and there's a plate here I think we can grab. We'll grab that. And we'll go ahead and steal from this lady's chest. Save. And let's begin. Lockpick broke. What do you take your paws off that? Ah. Again. She punched me right in the face. It's too far away. Is it right? Left? Right? Nope. Okay, let's reload, because I don't want to waste lockpicks. I thought she was going to wake up too, that's why I reloaded as well. Okay, she didn't hear me, good. Damn, try again. Here we go. 50 coins, alright. She didn't wake up. Switches. I imagine there's none in here. I don't see anything that could be a switch. Okay, nothing there. I can't do anything with this. I'm gonna try scouring. We have time. It's currently almost three. Stove? No, but we cook some meat. We got a lot of meat too. We got 92. Holy crap. What the deuce? Alright, there's nothing in here. Nothing in here at all. So let's leave. And yeah, Lothar's there all day. That's impossible. But whatever. Let's enter here and rob this house. Now that Wambo is not here. Should be safe to loot. Mostly safe. As long as we don't fail that. Well, we are going to fail, but hopefully the one of the chalices is here. Uh-oh. I see someone awake. Uh, I see stuff on the table. What is that? That's a dagger. Satchel. I know what that is. I don't know why Dirty I said that. Thief, just wait. Oh. What the? How the heck did he see me? I was sneaking. Let's try that again. That was weird. I guess we were in his line of sight. That was strange. We'll avoid him. Move this way. I don't think the blood chalice is here anyway, but just in case, we'll go ahead and... Um, actually, we'll save in a different slot. That would be our thief slot, I guess. Try to open this. I pick broke. Okay. Well, crap. Left. Yeah, lock pick. Great. We only had two. We're breaking a lot. We should probably buy some from Thorbin while we're at it. Get out of here. Uh oh. Alrighty then. 
Uh, shoot. Get Let's your see paws off that. Left. I'm gonna do this for a little bit, then go back to a previous save. I'm trying to get the combination first. Get out of here. Get your paws off that. Ah. Okay, we have to go back. Like that. I got four hits. Left, right, right, left. Let's try again. Watch there be absolutely nothing in there. Nothing to take. No chalice. Oh, probably some gold. A little bit gold. But regardless, I think we have to come back here later anyways, because Lothar doesn't get out of the way until we advanced a point into the story. And I think after this, we'll uh, go back to the farm. Ah. Darn it. Let's do that again. And I completely forgot what the last combination was. Darn it. Hope I get it right. All the way back. I wish I could save right there, but that night sees us. I don't know what he's doing, staying up all night. But. Whatever. I'm just staring at the fireplace. Alright, here we go again. Okay. Ah. There we go. 50 coins, 30 arrows, and a mana potion. We'll take all that. I'm not going to reload just to save that uh, lockpick because it's going to be a waste of time. I'm not going to grab that satchel either because he sees us. We probably picked it up from the wrong spot, so I might try again. Let's see. I just want to come out here and save first. Okay, right here. And let's try again, and I'll skip ahead to see if it works. All right, here we are. Let's try again. Just inch a little bit. We're probably just too close. Inch. Yeah, it's not going to work. Let's get out of here. That is not going to work. Alright. Yep, one lockpick left. If I can find it. Where is it? Right here. So we got a lot of treasure, though. Alright, I think we're ready to go back to... Uh, actually, hold on. Let me check this buildings over here first. We only found one chalice, but hey, that's better than zero. We'll come back here after Lothar leaves. Pretty sure he leaves after uh, a certain bit in the story. I think chapter two. And here, I think it depends on the time of day because Wambo is over there earlier. Midnight and before, probably. And that'll give us time to go in here. We could probably steal during the day as well. I'm not sure. Again, it's been a long time since I played this, but regardless, let's uh, go to sleep and head to the landowner's farm, become a mercenary. I think we're ready to go. All right, so change of plans. There's actually some creatures here near the Valley of Mines in this part of the map that we have not slain. So we're going to do that, and the part will be over. Next part, we'll probably join the mercenaries, unless something changes. I'll have lurkers here. One, two, three, four, five. That I can see. Alright then. How about you? Great. Okay, that's a bit too much. Actually, we probably take both on. Who cares? We're pretty strong. That. Yeah, a lot of creatures here. Will we level up though? Probably not. We have 4,000 left or so. A little less than 4,000. Gonna play it safe though. There's also a grave there. That's interesting. Right then. How about you? One more. 
more looker here. Nice. That, no need to save. We'll just fight these blood flies next. Ah. Really hate it when they raise up like that. It's a little annoying. We got more lurkers here, or one lurker here, rather. Hello. Hi. And he's dead. Grab this healing herb, and let's investigate that grave. Okay, we got a rusty sword, blue elders, we'll grab those. Potion, another potion, another blue elder, and one more blue elder, or rather, this is the last one, never mind. Our potions, just regular potions, which is good because we need potions. Hello, sir. Ah, that's you. That was easy. Anything else? Any other creatures that we missed? Yeah, over there is the Valley of Mines entrance. I don't know if you see that door away from here. We're not going to worry about that, though. We got some more lurkers in this direction. Oh, the scavengers are sleeping. Let's go ahead and get hit. It's fine. Okay, that one's down. There's another one. Got you. There you go. Grab that. These. And now we are currently almost uh, 57,000. Because I want to spend the next points learning pickpocket and probably forge weapons, and then we can focus on two-handed. But yeah, dexterity affects ranged weaponry, and I'm not positive, but I'm thinking it also decreases the chances of your lock picks breaking. And speaking of which, I forgot to talk to Thorbin. That's because it was morning, t uh, still really early morning. He was asleep. Or just standing outside his house, I believe. On the bench. Grab these. Oh, I see healing plants over here. I see one at least. And one more plant over here. And we'll go ahead and scour this area a little bit. Make sure we got every creature. Because I'm just about done in the next uh, minute, about a minute and a half, a minute and 20 seconds. At least according to my OBS recording timer. I think that's it. I think we scoured most of the island for this chapter. And we'll probably do the same thing in the later chapters because creatures do respawn, not respawn, they spawn in. They spawn in a new one, just like in Gothic 1. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go over here. I'm going to run as long as I can. We should reach level 15, I think, before chapter 2. I forget when the chapter transition starts. I don't know if it's joining a guild or completing uh, the task for the for the guild you joined. I'm going the right way. I am. This is where Onar's farm leads to. Let's get as close as we can. I got about 20 seconds. And there's one quest I gotta find as well. I'm not gonna spoil it, but there's one quest involving Valentino. Well, not Valentino. You get a magical scroll to test out on someone. I gotta see how to get that again. So, when we come back, we may either join the mercenaries or try to find that quest. But until then, I will see you in part 11. Goodbye.